morning from the beautiful Pinehurst Resort. I'm Kelly Thasier and I am pleased to be joined this morning by Ron Syrak from Golf World Magazine. Thank you so much for joining me Thanks today. Thanks for having me, Kelly. My pleasure. First round is underway here on uh, Pinehurst number two. And of course, all eyes this morning were on Lucy Lee, who teed off very early. How impressed have you been with this 11-year-old so far this week? Well, look, she shot 74-68 at Half Moon Bay, playing at over 6,300 yards. And it was, it was sort of a cool, damp day. I mean, it was an impressive, impressive performance to win by seven strokes. Uh, you know, she earned her way here, no doubt about it. We go from the youngest competitor to the oldest in the field who announced yesterday, Julie Inkster, that this is probably her last U.S. Women's Open. Do you think we'll actually see that be true, or do we think yeah. we'll see Julie again? Yeah, I, I wrote that Julie played her last Solheim Cup three times. You know, she's told me three different times, I'm done, I'm done, but she keeps coming back. Uh, you know, this is to me one of the most amazing statistics this week. She's played more than half of the Women's U.S. Opens. This is the 69th Women's U.S. Open. She's played 35 of them. Astounding. It's pretty incredible, and she's gotten off to a great start this morning, too. Wouldn't it be fun to watch her be in contention this week? Uh, oh, absolutely. There's nobody more fun. You know, one of the things about Julie, and I've known her a long time, you never get the last word with her. No matter what you say, she's got something funny to put on top of it. No doubt. I can't wait to see her as the U.S. Solheim Cup captain. I know we're going to have a great week when that takes place in Germany. When you look at the pairings today, there's a lot of great uh, matchups that are going out there, groupings to watch. Which ones kind of do you have your eye on? Who are you looking forward to watching? Today. Yeah, there, there's uh, uh, three threesomes that go off right after each other in the afternoon that I'm going to be walking with. And, that, you know, Brittany Lang, Morgan Presso, and Yanni Center in one. And then they're followed by Lizette Salas, Nayan Choi, and uh, Paula Creamer. And then they're followed by Shan Shan Fung, Angela Stanford, and Anna Nordquist. That's, that's pretty good. And, you know, on a year when, when the LPGA's best players are playing their best golf, it's like all the names are hitting on all cylinders. You expect to see just more of that this week. No doubt. It's going to be an exciting day here at the Pinehurst Number 2 golf course. History in the making with the women following in back-to-back -back U.S. Open championships. It's an exciting day. Look forward to, to watching what's, what's going to be come today. Uh, you know, uh, there was some apprehension about the twin opens, the back-to-back -back opens, and, and to me, it couldn't be better than what it is. I, I think the women have been given uh, one of the biggest platforms they've ever had to to. to show their skills on and uh, I love the look of this golf course I love the feel of it everything I've heard from the players there they love it also and they're embracing the moment and and uh, I don't think this so far couldn't go have gone better well everybody make sure to tune in ESPN2 has the coverage today from 3 to 7 p.m. Eastern time should be some very exciting golf out here on this beautiful golf course and make sure to stay tuned to LPGA.com all week for more on the U.S. Women's Open thank you